So I was in Japan the summer of 2017 in September when North Korea was doing a bunch of nuclear testing. And at random times there would be sirens that went off. Not knowing what was going on, I was always kind of nervous, especially being in this really tiny apartment. So I kept going outside most of the time so that way I didn't get trapped inside if there was a nuclear holocaust or some really dramatic thing that could have happened. Yesterday I woke up to this. What? After about 40 times of this alarm going off, I kind of got sick of it, so I went downstairs and talked to the security guard and asked him if everything's okay. He looked at me and he's like, oh yeah, 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 that's fine. But I grew up in the Chicagoland area and there were tornado sirens all the time, so we're very used to hearing the sirens that we're used to. However, when you move abroad, you don't realize that there are so many different sounds and sirens that you don't know because you don't have them back home. And living abroad, it kind of spooks me out because I don't know what each one of them are. So yesterday morning when I woke up, I was like, am I gonna die? Is it the end? Obviously dramatic, right? Well, it turns out they were just testing the fire alarms in the building. But does that mean that you shouldn't take these seriously? You most certainly should, just in case. However, the one thing that I will advise you to do is sometimes in your elevators and on the bulletin boards at the apartments or wherever you are living, you may see something like a flyer. Take Google Translate and check that out because it may have information so that way you don't have to go downstairs to your security guard and they think that you're freaking out over nothing. Anyways, subscribe to my channel down below and have a wonderful day, guys. Bye. Taijong Metro Train coming to you.